joining us. Um, if you have a question for the manager, if you can use the emoji, please. Thank you. Um, Hi, Patrick. Um, just wondered, you know, your general thoughts on the game. Did you feel that your team maybe could have got a point at the end there? Yeah, I think. Um, and I was hoping that we will get the points at the end because I think uh, we were the better team. I think we play some good football. We created enough chances to to score more goals and um, yes, frustrated because uh, because I think today we we created enough to win that game. And the three goals that, that you conceded, did, did you put that down to you know, excellent play from West Ham? Were you a little bit disappointed with the way that your team defended those goals? Yeah, I think the... I think it's the quality of, of the West Ham. I think we knew that the front line were really dangerous and they could score goals by creating something by themselves. But to score, to concede the first goal and then concede the second one straight away after um, is really difficult. I was more frustrated the way we concede that second goal because we put a lot of emphasis on uh, how important it was for us to be compact and uh, not give them space to, to run with the ball because they're quite really powerful and physical. And then when we conceded that first goal, I think we lost a little bit of momentum and conceding the second goal straight away and 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 conceding the penalty just before half time, I think that was really difficult and it was a lot to take from us. And we came back in the second half with, with more determination and we give a really good uh, answer back. And, and at the end, we were really close to, to get a point. And, Overall, I'm quite really, really pleased because I think we we give them a good game against a team who are fifth on the table and and a team who's been uh, built up quite well in the last couple of uh, couple of years. And just finally, from me, um, Michael Lee's coming on and playing a major part in both the goals. How did you you know feel he did, and will he get a chance to start in in future? Michael? Yeah, Michael Lee, say. Yeah, Michael is, is a top young player with a lot of talent and he didn't do any any training with the team in the last 10 days. So he just came on and be straight away in the squad and it was a gamble for us because he didn't know how he was physically. And, uh, you know, when you are young like that, that show that... Uh, Physically, he was he was okay, and um, I was really pleased with the way he came onto the game because he created chances, he created situations, he scored goals, he showed um, in the space of twenty minutes um, his quality, and and um, and that's really good for the football club. Thank you, um, Mark Wyatt, London. Thanks, Joe. Hi, Patrick. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, Mark. Um, obviously, you've had a bit of time uh, away from the pitch. What was it like being back out on the dugout today? It was, uh, it was good. I was looking forward to, to get back. And, um, you know, it was um, a good game of football against a really strong side. And um, and we gave ourselves the best chance to win that game. Um, I think we started quite really well, creating that chance with uh, with Jeff hitting the post. But uh, you know, the atmosphere again was was brilliant today. So yeah, I was really pleased to be back. I couldn't wait to be uh, to be with the players. Um, I know this the last couple of weeks have been really difficult in, in knowing kind of what players you're even going to have available. Um, for the game. Could you talk us through um, the, the last 24 hours knowing that you wouldn't have Will for or Chiaku uh, available? How much did that, um, you know, hamper your plans? No, but I think it's uh, the same situation for every manager in, uh, in the league. We just have to, to adapt ourselves as the best as, as we can. And 
some teams sometimes will have all the players available and some of the ones sometimes will have half team or not enough te- players to to play the game and and that is what we have to deal with and we just have to to uh, to accept it but i think as a football club we always going to try to play games uh, and then just a word on luka milivojevic's performance obviously has come straight into the team and expected to start um what did you make of him today I think Luca was uh, was really good. I think um you know if we played well today is because in the midfield we were quite really good in possession. Um, it's a long time that he didn't play and obviously more games he will play and better he will feel better. but I was uh, I was happy with his performance. And then just finally from me you mentioned uh, in your interview on Sky there uh, that there was naivety with him the team um can you just elaborate on that a little bit did you feel they were naive going was, forward and was, and was naive t uh, it can be a lack of experience because i think when you consider the first goal the way we manage our the last the next 10 minute 15 minutes after considering the goal i think uh, that is a lack of experience and uh, and we considered the, the second goal and i think uh, considering the penalty just before half time like that there is moment in the first half where we didn't manage well and that is one of the part of the game that we we need to improve but at the same time you know we we are building something here that will take time and and the first half show some part of the game that we will still need to to improve but overall I think we give West Ham a really good game and uh, and that is something that we have to to be pleased because they've been working together for the last couple of years they've been building the team for the last couple of years and the way we play them away and at home that give us a lot of hope for for the future thank you patrick okay don't come right some my patrick happy new year to you congratulations about the result it was what was the issue with the uh, referee after the game? What, what did you want to speak to him about? I don't have any um, comment to make. It was a conversation between him and myself, and um, that's it. Okay, but do, 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 I mean, obviously onto the pitch, and it had to be pulled away by your captain, and got the yellow card. Are you, are you happy with the way he dealt with you, the, the, the referee? I, I don't have any comment. I just express myself, and um, I get the yellow card that. I accept, and um, and I think there is nothing more to say. Okay, thanks, Patrick. Thank you. Okay, um, Roman Osman, London World. Hi, Patrick. Um, I just wanted to find out, Jordan. Are you in the last few minutes? He seemed to have picked up a knock. Have you been able to speak to him? Is it just a knock or something more? No, no, no. He's just a knock. He will be okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hector Nons, please. Tom Barkley. Hi, Patrick. Uh, this is a question for Monday, if that's okay. 